Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome to Scorn. Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous playing this. Um, I'm not normally someone who goes for horror games whatsoever, um, but I do like a lot of the lore in a lot of horror series. Like, I, I love the lore of Amnesia, I love a lot of the Resident Evil lore, and the lore for Scorn looks really good as well. So I think I'm going to go in, jump in, and we're just going to see how I go. So I hope you'll join me. And, um, yeah, this could be interesting. I'm just waiting for a jump scare here. Uh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't too scary. Well, here we are, beginning of the game. Um, one thing I'll say about this is that it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's like really well, sort of polished looking graphics. Um, I believe this is Unreal Engine, I want to say five, but it could be four, but it looks amazing regardless. Um, and yeah, I, I think Along with the lore, another one of the reasons why I was really drawn to this game is obviously you can straight up tell this is like straight out of H.R. Geiger. Like this could well be H.R. Geiger the game pretty much. And I love all of his designs. I love the, all the concept work he did for the Alien series, which I really enjoy. So of course I was going to jump in and give this one a go. Um, it's a very interesting thing we've got here. Um, I wonder if I can jump down there. No, I can't actually. It's not letting me go down. I also wonder if we should have just gone through that door that was right there as we started. It, it's quite possible we were supposed to just do that, but... Hey. All right, so where are we here? Wow. Sort of large, but also strangely um, sort of claustrophobic surrounds we're in here. A very interesting looking um, locale. So we've got another door over there and we have an open one over there. So let's maybe head over here and see what we can potentially do. Looks like we can't do anything right now. Um, as I just got a little notification from Microsoft to tell me that I've earned free stuff. Okay, so I guess we can't use those doors at this point, so we might just continue along um, this open door and see where that will take us. I'm like 
absolutely on edge. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, I guess there's some sort of button prompt here, but I'm not seeing what I'm supposed to be pressing. Uh, the answer is I'm supposed to be clicking my mouse, so I need to remember that. It's managed... Oh, okay. And that door is now closed and locked. So hopefully there isn't anything too dangerous in here. Now we do have a strange looking machine that looks like it has a, a giant willy coming out of it. So we'll just have a look around here first before we go tampering with that, I think. Okay, a whole lot of, whole lot of junk and stuff like that. More junk. And we've got something here, which it looks like I can't interact with because it's got that line through the dot. So I guess we're heading over here and seeing what we can do here. All right. Okay, I'm sticking my hand in it. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Oh, okay. Um... All right, we got some implants. Cool, with the little little stabby thing. Nice, nice, nice. Um, okay, I wonder if we can use this now. Ah, yes, we can. Okay, so what do we do with it now? Um, yep. Okay. Oh, okay, right, so we had to, I guess, remove the lock, and then, oh, okay, I thought that was something alive there. Um, so I guess we're done now. We can probably pull, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so this is a time-based thing, I guess. All right, so let's pull that out and run okay all right cool so we're through there uh yes okay and we're in this big sort of open cavern here so, some ominous music and some suspicious sounds all right This is also quite reminiscent of the engineer's ship in Alien as well, this sort of uh, this sort of area here. Obviously it's very biomechanical. And we've got a few different directions we can head in as well, it looks like. Okay, got a door over there. Okay, so we've got interesting, some sort of locking mechanism, I guess. And we need two, two people to do. Okay. That is very interesting indeed. All right. Um, well, we might, I guess, keep heading down. Let's keep having a look around and see what we can find. The strange alien bathtub. These look a lot like, like eggs or something like that, don't they? 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Creepy. It looks like we've got something here that we can potentially... Potentially use. Got something over here as well. Hmm. What should we go with? Might try this one first. Right. Okay. Some sort of a... Uh, some sort of biomechanical butcher's... Uh, butcher's set. Guessing we need to bring something back there potentially. Okay. Nothing much going on here. Um, I guess we've maybe made our way around a different way than they intended us to take. Some intestines in there, very nice. Very nice indeed. Lots of corpses. All right. Creepy looking giant helmets and more corpses. Um, there's some lights on over here. But... But nobody home, actually, so we'll just keep... Keep on keeping on. I've got a window here, another one of those rooms that's got some of these... Of these doodads and it looks like we're heading back out into the uh um sort of big room now okay so nothing much going on over there right now but a few things potentially we might need to uh um go back and do maybe can we go through this way yes we can it's um that's HR Geiger all the way. Just had a little, little tiny bit of a, uh, um, a little frame jump, which tells me that something loaded in, which tells me that I'm not going to have the best time. Lots of, uh, okay, more dead people. Right, right. All right, let's give this a go. Okay, another one of these things. So I guess there needs to be something in there. Um, to be used. Okay. Guessing there's does something with this doodad here. Okay. Uh, giant ice cream scooper. Cool. What do you reckon? This looks like a lift. Hmm. Might leave that for a sec. Just make sure I haven't missed anything in here. Um, no, actually that would be all the directions we could go in. Okay, cool. So we'll go and use that lift then and see where that takes us. Okay. 
and we are on our way up. This game does look gorgeous, like I'm really enjoying uh really enjoying how this one looks. Alright. Oh okay, we're uh now are we uh, okay, so we're up top of that large chamber we are in. And what does this thing do? Um, once again, nothing much. So I think we can head around sort of the outside here. M maybe we'll do something over there potentially. look like eggs or something like that as my Windows uh, or Xbox app tells me I've gotten free stuff again. Hmm. That's quite ominous, I think. All those eggs just hanging out there. Okay, I think at the moment we're sort of behind um, that mechanism that we unsuccessfully tried to use before. So I might just head around the other side just to make sure I haven't missed anything over there. And then we might head through that door. Oh, but we got another direction we can travel in. Now it looks like we're good over here. So do we head through the door or do we head down here? Might head down here. It doesn't look like... There's too much in this direction. I lied, in fact. There's a... Looks like there's a fair bit. This looks like it could be a bar like the uh, Star Wars Cantina. Oh, we've got another door. Okay. Um, we can't use this door either. All right. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. We missed something up here. So at the top of this uh, center pylon thing, there is something we can use. Okay. What are we doing here then? So we appear to be setting up some tracks or something like that, but what what exactly are we uh what exactly are we doing that for? Also appears to be something to do with that seat over there maybe. So are we setting us up our uh, so we're setting ourselves up a little bit of a train ride or something. Maybe. I don't know which direction we're supposed to be going in though. Well, let's give that a go anyway. So do we have to sit in here? No. Okay, so we're supposed to be getting something from up here and maybe loading it onto that train. There's nothing in there, so obviously it can't pull anything down. Okay. Okay, okay, this is progress. 
Oh, there was another control over here. Why didn't I see that? Okay. So what are we doing here? Is it some sort of like puzzle? Supposed to be getting something... Oh, uh, maybe one of these lit up ones? Maybe they need to be mo moved into place, potentially. Let's give that a go. Let's see, is that what we need to do? Oh, this looks promising. Okay. Uh, that sounded alive. Um, and that makes me very nervous. I think it's down there. Alright, let's try this one then. No, this one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it looks like it might be locked in potentially. So I need to do some movement. Alright, beautiful. This should, hopefully, solve this puzzle for us. Um, so we'll use this machine here again. I just saw a hand come out of that. There is a hand in there. Oh, lordy me. Okay, all right. Um, that's a bit creepy. But okay, so it's gone in the the little thing then. Oh, okay, and it's on its way down. Okay. Um. All right. Let's head down then and see what's happened. I don't think it looked like it would be that aggressive. It doesn't look like it really has much um, <laughs> much vigor to it. So I think we hopefully should be okay. But I could be surprised, I guess. Um, perhaps foolishly just making my way directly over to have a look at it. There it is, right there. Okay, um, so we can probably then get it down. Is that with this thing? I think it was, wasn't it? Okay. Now do we put it in its little seat? Alright, um... Let's have a look at this thing. Alright, um, interesting. Uh, so what do we do here? Oh, okay, I can push it around and stuff. Oh, okay. So that's what these, um, these little bits are for. So I guess we might need to 
drop it here and do something with it? What what happens here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So it's um. Uh, I guess it's sort of free-ish. Wow, it's. Uh, it's just hopeless, isn't it? It can't do anything. It's this misshapen little thing. Um. Oh, okay. Maybe that's where this the circular saw and the scoop comes from. So potentially, maybe we want, we want to take it to the scoop room because uh, I guess that's better than cutting it apart. All right. Um, I think that's what we need to do then. So let's get you on your way. Poor little guy. So, um, or we could be sending ourselves to death if we're actually, uh, enabling this thing to be able to kill us by releasing it. But, um, let's give it a go and see if this is what we need. Alright, so it's out of its little little cage thing now, so I guess we can possibly move it in to sit in the seat. Smack its head on the way through. Alright. Hang on. It's re it's it's like begging not to go in that thing. May mm, maybe we actually need to take it to the other one. That's that's just like a red herring. I reckon it's telling us not to take it there, isn't it? Let's see if we can take it back the other way. It stopped, it stopped like begging now. Yeah, I think that's the right, I think that's the right way to do it. Alright, so we need to change this, um, let's have a look. So we need to rotate this one here, and uh, the one that takes us into that room there, okay. Alright, so that one, 
and that one's already connected up. So I think that's what we need to do. Other thing I'm getting real vibes on um, is the um, Atlantis from the original Tomb Raider game, um, which I've played on the channel before. Um, this is sort of like a more horror version of um, Atlantis, you know, that um, Jacqueline Natler built to create her sort of perfect race of post-humans. Um, I'm definitely getting those vibes from, from, this, uh, from this locale as well. How are you feeling about this one, bud? Jeez, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's as distressed as it was in the other chair. And I suppose it maybe makes sense that it's cut it, cut that cutting open the back of it. I guess. All right, look. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. This could be bad. Uh, I don't. Ooh, ooh. Is it alive? I think... Is it okay? I think it's okay. Hey, bud. I need to help it or something? Or will it do that itself? Oh. I mean, it's not in a good way, is it? Should I be stepping back? Definitely like very zombie-ish, isn't it? But it's not doing too well. Okay. Um. Um. Uh. I'm going to assume this isn't, like, some sort of enemy, right? What happens if I approach you? Sort of cowers a bit. Okay. Are you just following me around? Is that what's happening? Maybe? Okay. So, where do we take you to, then? Oh, maybe you help with the, um, the two-person door, right? Yeah, having a bit of trouble walking though. All 
All right, if we just head up here. Oh, you've fallen over. Do you need help? Okay, we're dragging you. Tough love. Oh, hang on. Whoa, what are we doing? What? Oh, we've given it one of the, the arm thingies. Okay. Um... Okay, um, do you follow us now? Or are you permanently scared of us? No, okay. So... I'm guessing... Which one do we... Does, do they go to? I'm guessing probably this one, hey? Because that's the one that has the little socket for... For that thing. Okay, so then we go and do this. Okay, so this has happened. Whoa. I'm guessing we can't do anything with him. We just have to leave him there. Sorry, bud. I thought we were going to, like, rescue you or something, to be honest, but, um... No, we're just an arsehole, apparently. Oh. Alright, so, where to now, then? Okay, that's relocked, so maybe he freed himself. Off on a lift. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of dead things. Far out. This is... Creepy as. Oh man. Oh. Like flesh dripping out of that. Oh.
I've got no idea what any of this is. It's, is there something going on here, though? Whoa! Oh! Gosh! Oh, hang on a sec. Is this... Is this what I think it is? Oh god. Oh no. This is a gun. Oh. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. oh. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? What? What are these? Oh, okay, that's very phallic. Ooh. What are those? Oh, it's not even a gun. It's just a... Okay, um, we might just uh, let them relax and do whatever they're doing. Okay, I guess we've got to go do this one now. So got more of these little strange biomechanical drone things. Guess we're gonna get the big yeah, you know, the big heads come out. Big head is being grabbed. Okay, um Strange like alien oil derrick. What's going on there? Alright, where are we heading to now? Do we head back to there or do we head somewhere else? Oh, hang on, we can walk around this side. Okay, I completely missed that. Are we going to have to fight these guys? Are they going to attack us? Oh man. Don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. So there's that. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if we're supposed to be doing this, so... Oh, shit! Okay, oh! Okay, that stuff is nasty. So I do need to get rid of these guys, I guess. I see. Alright, what is next? Guess we're heading over here. It's 
So what's happening? What is this? It's a, uh... Okay, um... What? We're putting the sheath on the tip. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, we can just do that once. What's next? Okay, all right. Can we do that again? Is that what we should be doing or should we be heading down and out? Let's just have a quick look and see if we can do this once more. We can, okay. Guessing it's going over that side, yes. Lines have opened up. Uh, is there anything else left for us to do down here? We've got this one here as well. So I wonder if we can grab that one. What is that? It's the large turd. Okay, um... Yes, okay. What's happened? Oh. That's a bit nasty. Uh-oh. Am I being absorbed? God damn. What's happening now? This looks like I'm like in the womb. Looks like that's an umbilical cord.
Oh yeah, I'm in, uh, definitely in some sort of egg, aren't I? But hang on a sec. Oh. I don't have the thing on my arm anymore. So is this the new character? Well, I think we're going to leave it about there. So this has been the prologue of Scorn. Luckily, not many jump scares or no jump scares. So I'm surviving this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know. I'm somewhat keen to keep playing this, though once again, I'm cognizant of the fact that I'm probably going to shit my pants. Um, I might even play it on stream. That might be a little bit more entertaining. So let me know if you want to see more. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to all my social media in the description, so please jump on there. Like, follow, subscribe to all that wonderful stuff over there. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Scorn. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.